All right, can you give us, give us two minutes on substrates? <clears throat> right, okay, so inside here we've got the six axis robots. Um, the bell chamber is fully vacuum formed. And on here we have our 600 by 600 mil build plates. In this configuration at the moment, we have a protection plate and we've got on a variety of different substrates varying from 80 to 150, 300, all the way up to 600 by 600 mil and combinations of thereof. Um, this gives us huge flexibility on the size of parts that we can produce and we can produce up to pretty much one meter in, diagonal, in the diagonal formation and we can build up to 70 centimeters high in the z-axis. Um, the articulation of the robot gives us the ability to do free form oh. shapes and we're firing powder from underneath onto this substrate. What's well, that? Now masking the robot hole. Uh, so including the weight of the actual substrate itself on the here, we can have 40 kilograms of mass. Um, as long as it's not acting too much in a pendulum and high up, but we could produ produce a 40 kilogram square quite easily or 40 kilogram, 40 kilogram net shape quite easily with on this substrate. Oh, do. Can you tell me about the robot? Anything about the robot? Uh, so we use the six axis robot. It's uh, produced by a company called ABB. Um, and it basically operates the same way as a human arm. So if we're looking at the base, you think of that as the shoulder joint. We have up, down, left and right at that point. Coming up to the third axis, that is almost like an elbow. So we're having this pendulum effect with the elbow. And then if we move up here, we have a rotation in the forearm. That's the fourth axis. We have a wrist action of up and down on the wrist action and a rotation giving us our fifth and our sixth axis.